For today's question, we are given that x is a real number. We are asked to find the minimum value of the following expression. That is, absolute value of x minus 1 square plus absolute value of x minus 2 square and so on until absolute of x minus 10 square. Please give it a try before you look at the answer. Recall the following result that the sum of absolute value is at least equals to the absolute of the sum. That is, absolute of a plus absolute of b is greater than or equal to absolute of a plus b. With the equality holds, if and only if, a times b is at least zero. With this, now we consider the absolute of x minus 1 square plus absolute of x minus 10 square. And we can write this as absolute of x minus 1 plus an absolute of 100 minus x instead of x minus 100. Using the result above, this is at least absolute of x minus 1 plus 100 minus x. And this equals 99. We also know that the equality holds if and only if x minus 1 times 100 minus x is at least 0. And this is equivalent to say that x minus 1 times x minus 100 less than or equals to 0. And therefore, x is in between 1 and 100. We can continue to apply the similar method. So we say likewise, absolute value of x minus 2 square plus absolute value of x minus 9 square can be written as absolute value of x minus 4 plus absolute value of 81 minus x, which is at least absolute of x minus 4 plus 81 minus x, and it is equals 77. When we consider the equality case, it holds if and only if x minus 4 times 81 minus x at least 0. So finally, we have x is in between 4 and 81. We may proceed for all other cases, but in general, we will say that absolute value of x minus k square plus absolute value of x minus 11 minus k square can be written as absolute value of x minus k square plus absolute of 11 minus k square minus x. Using the previous result, this is at least absolute of x minus k square plus 11 minus k square minus x. And we can see that x cancel off and we left with absolute value of x minus k square plus 11 square, which is 1 to 1, minus 22k plus k square. Again, negative k square and k square will be cancelled off, and we left with 11 times 11 minus 2k. This is true for k equals 1, 2, 3, 4, or 5. We also know that the equality holds if and only if x minus k squared times 11 minus k squared minus x is at least 0. And we conclude that this is equivalent to x is in between k squared and 11 minus k squared. For now, let's look at the expression that we are consider, which is summation of modulus of x minus k square for k equals to 1 to 10. So we can do the pairing, pair the absolute value of x minus 1 square and absolute value of x minus 10 square and followed by absolute value of x minus 2 square and absolute value of x minus 9 square and so on until absolute value of x minus 5 square plus absolute of x minus 6 square. Using the above result, we have this expression is at least 11 times 11 minus 2 times 1 plus 11 times 11 minus 2 times 2 and so on until 11 times 11 minus 2 times 5. So we proceed with simple calculation. This is equal to 11 times 5 times 11 minus 2 times 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5. And 
from the direct calculation, we know that the answer equals to 275. And note that the equality holds if and only if x is in between k squared and 11 minus k squared for all k. To make everything correct, we choose k equals to 5. So meaning that x is in between 5 squared and 6 squared. With this, we conclude that the minimum of this expression is 275. Therefore, 275 is the answer for this question. That's all for today's lesson. I'll see you again next time. Bye-bye.